Hi everyone, my name is Adam and today I'd like to preview ACDC Photo Editor 10. We're going to be playing around with blend modes quite a bit, and I'd just like to remind you that everything we're going to cover in this video is possible in ACDC Ultimate 10 as well. Let's jump right in. When you open the program, it will prompt you to choose from a photo you have on your hard drive. All ACDC softwares work directly off of the hard drive, so there's no need to import anything. Those familiar with ACDC will find the layout very much like that of edit mode in ACDC Ultimate 10. On the left sidebar, you can find our main toolbar, which includes a variety of selectors, shape tools, brushes, paints, recordable actions, and then finally filters. Let's have a more in-depth look at filters. From the top down are Repair, including Clone and Corrective Tools, Add, which includes borders, text, and vignettes, among other options, Geometry, which includes Rotate, Crop, and Perspective filters, Exposure and Lighting, which includes Levels, Lighting Correction, and Dodge and Burn tools. Color, which includes color balance tools, black and white options, among others. And then finally, Detail, which includes noise removal, sharpening tools, etc. Let's have a look at the right side of our menu bar. Bottom right is the History panel. As you make changes to an image, you can click back and forth through your edits to go back to the state of an image at a certain point in your edit history. Above that is your adjustment layers and layer settings. Adjustment layers enable you to non-destructively add filters to your image. Vibrance, for example, will allow us to tweak saturation, hue, and light. The nice thing about adjustment layers is that if we save this file as an ACDC file, we can make further tweaks to this vibrance adjustment in the future. If we wanted to change something in two weeks, a year, shouldn't be a problem. We can open up this ACDC file and edit these filters at any point. The other nice thing about adjustment layers is that they come pre-enabled with a mask. A mask is a white box that appears next to the vibrance icon in our layer panel. If we click on that white box, and then we use the brush tool located on the left menu bar with a black foreground color, we can effectively brush away that vibrance adjustment on specific parts of our image. We can change our brush color by using the color picker here. Speaking of layer masks, beneath adjustment layers are your other layer settings. If you want to add a mask to any old layer, and it doesn't have to be an adjustment layer, we can simply click on the Add Layer Mask button located right here. We can also add a blank layer here, or duplicate an existing layer. There's one more thing a new user needs to know about the right layer panel before we start making changes to our image. Above the layer panel is a drop-down bar with the words Normal and Opacity next to it. These are blending modes, and they're pretty darn cool. To illustrate, let's add a blank layer with the New Layer button. Cool, now we're going to fill this layer with a color. Over in our Tool panel, I'm going to select the Paint Bucket and fill it with a color. Top right box is a fast way to choose colors. I'm going to stick with Aquamarine. Ensuring that layer 2 is selected, let's click right on our image panel. Nice, this image is very blue. Let's have a look through some of our blend modes using layer 2. I've settled on a difference layer, with the opacity almost halved. All right. So now we've got a general idea of what's going on with the UI, 
Let's create something unique using ACDC Photo Editor 10. First thing I'm going to do is start from scratch. Before I do anything, I'm going to make a copy of our image here by duplicating in the layer panel. Nice. Let's consider what we can do to the geometry of this image to make it look more like it was taken close up. Bringing up Distortion Correction, located on the left filter menu, I'm going to increase the correction strength and change the distortion type to fisheye. I'm also going to slightly increase the scale and rotate this image. The next thing I'd like to do is add a white balance adjustment layer using the panel on the bottom right. White balance is the sun icon. I don't like the fact that this layer is changing our subject's skin color, so I'm going to erase the layer over top of our subject using a black brush. As a reminder, using a black brush on a mask hides the layer where you've brushed. The reverse is true if we right click the layer and invert the mask. Now the only thing with the white balance adjustment layer is our subject. If you're ever curious about masks and how they interact with layers, a simple way of thinking about it is that the black in the mask preview box is effect off and white in the mask preview box is effect on. Quick side note as I skipped over it. Click the eye icon to the left of a layer to hide the entire layer from view. This is non-destructive and can be undone at any point. I would like to add a layer of blue to our image that is nicely blended over top of everything but ideally ignores our subject. To do this, I'm going to add a new layer and begin making a selection using the brush selection tool. You can find the tool third from the top in our left toolbar. With the tool active, you'll notice an options panel that appears above our image box. I'm going to select Magic from the Smart Brush dropdown. Smart Brushing is a pixel-aware selection system that takes into account the color and brightness values of nearby pixels when brushing. This results in an extremely refined selections. Tolerance simply makes the Smart Brushing process more discerning when turned down. For example, if there's more color variation in your image, it will do its best to select nearest to the same tones. Watch how it affects the wave with its varying blues. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to adjust my nib width and take a second here to actually make my selection. Now that we have our selection, I'm going to highlight our blank layer and fill it using the paint bucket. I'll also use the brush to clean up any missed elements. I may also throw a clipping mask on my layer here to soften some of the edges. Let's select hard light from the blend mode drop down bar. Now that we have this layer set up, I'd like to add a couple adjustment layers that enable us to tweak the color. Namely, a white balance adjustment to increase the temperature and a levels adjustment to darken the midtones. I'll raise the temperature to around 25 and the levels will increase to about 8 towards the right. I'm going to take a second to quickly erase the temperature adjustments that appear over our subject as I don't want his skin to look all yellowy. Clicking on the plus button beneath the layer panel, I'm going to add a new layer. In that layer, I'm going to create a blue box. I'll simply ensure that my foreground and background colors are the same. And then once it's placed, I'm going to rotate it slightly to cover up our image diagonally. Let's apply a burn blend mode 
and then mask out the surfer's head and board. To mask out the head and the tip of the board, we need to select the layer they appear on. So I'm going to click on layer 1, copy 1, and select the head and board with the brush selection tool. Now that we have those selections, click layer 4 and click the add layer mask button from beneath the layer panel. What you'll notice right away is that this is the opposite selection we desire. But not to worry, click the invert button to switch the mask and we're right back to what we want. The last thing we're going to do here is add some text to our layer panel. I'll navigate to add on the left toolbar and click text. You can create a new layer like I did using the plus button or you can check the add text as a new layer button at the bottom of your text panel. Play around with your text. I'm going to change the size, font, and then commit my layer. And there you have it. There's a brief exploration of ACDC Photo Editor 10's multi-layer functionality. Thank you for exploring ACDC Photo Editor 10 with me. Follow the link to learn more or subscribe for more feature highlights and tutorial videos.